guys, welcome to my channel. I've got my Flex D hand or whatever you want to call this. Um, her name is Alice. I got her here. I'm going to be doing a review of this UR Sugar Thermal Gel, which is the blue. But first off, I put these tips on here. And I'm going to see if I can file them and see what they do. And yeah, do that. Probably put some Acro Gel on the ridge lines and see how it goes so let's here we go I'm only gonna do a couple of these of filing on camera then I'll do the rest of them off camera so you can see what I'm doing so I'm gonna file off this little edge line of the tip that I put on here so I'm gonna edge file that down and then buff up this so It'll adhere the stuff to it. So yeah, I'm gonna do these. This one here, and then probably the next one on here, and then do the rest of them offline with you. I meant oh, to say not offline. on video with you guys, but I'm gonna do these two on here with you guys. Get all filed down as you would do. Now these tips might be a little bit small for this, but I went ahead and stuck them on there anyway. Okay, so I got that done. Got the edge lines all buffed up, and got the dust all off of here. And there goes the fingertip. <laughs> Alrighty then, so let's place, let's place some acro gel on here, and pack this down and get that edge line going. So let's push this up to the cuticle. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the video because it's kind of chilly in my room and the gel's kind of a little bit of a thick consistency right now but I love this acro gel because it's almost perfectly clear that up up there. Okay, just pull down to the tip. Get that all set up again up here. But yeah, if you're new here, I want to welcome everybody. And if you would, please like and subscribe and share my video. And the curing time on this with this lamp is two minutes. And it's done. Okay, let's see if we're done. This is how you tell if it's done or not. You hear that click? That tells you that your gel is done. Instead of having a slip solution, I'm just using the um, alcohol. Okay guys, I decided I'd do a little bit of this filing on camera for you guys with this tip. <laughs> I'm going to show you my triumphs and my fails. We're going to see what this does. Okay, so now I'm going to go around the cuticles and get those where I need them. Alright, yeah, that looks pretty good. Well, let's see if Sorry, I'm out of frame, guys. Get that file. There we go. That looks pretty good. And on to the pinky. Let's get this one done. And go around your cuticles. Get that tip down there the way you want it. I want them. 
Let's get this all brushed off. Let's get this painted. Want your base coat? Now, if it's your natural nail, you want to like burnish it in, like kind of. So the one painted. And you're not even gonna stay, are you? There we go. Got your base gel, base coat, whichever one you want to call it. We'll give it 30 seconds in the lamp. Alrighty, now we're gonna put this UR Sugar Color Gel Soak Off LED, UV LED Gel Polish. And this is the matte. Thermal gel, you are 07. So let's see how this one works out. Now, I've not used this yet. I wanted to wait and see what it does with you guys. So let's get these polished. See what day we got. And this is gorgeous blue. You might need two coats of this, guys. And I decided on these nails as a decoration. I got some stickers from the Dollar Tree. And they are princess stickers. Okay guys, I went ahead and put a second coat on these and I'm curing them. And I wanna show you what it looks like when it comes right straight out of the lamp, when it's done curing on how of the change of the color is because it is a thermal. Okay, it's about time for that to come out. Look at that. They are gorgeous. They turn a really light blue. It does. So, what I'm going to do, and like I said, it's a matte. It is a matte. So, I'm gonna take these little stickers. Oh, just dropped everything else. These are what I found at the dollar store, and I'm gonna use the Cinderella one since it goes in and matches with the blue behind there. So I'm gonna get these out. There's a sticker, so. Wow, isn't that just cute? Oh, wow, that's just really, really cute. Look at that. On the pinky, let's put a blue, blue pumpkin with the silver around it. No, no, let's just put a little silver crown. That'll work. On the pinky. Okay. All right, now I got this full beauty that I got from my last haul too, and it is a burnish powder. That one right there and I'm gonna put some top coat on here and I'm gonna burnish in the nail pigment around the Cinderella and then I'll go in with some blue again of this thermal well no I probably won't have to I mean I don't want it to if I wanted it to be matte then I should then I could should go back over it, but I'm good with it not being matte. But we're gonna leave the pinky matte. I will have to go and straighten it out with making my things stay on there. So I'll have to get my matte top coat. And I'm gonna go ahead and cure this here, and I'll be right back. Hex 
pentagons in it. And some really fine glitters and some chunky. So yeah. Make it kind of look like a ice snail. And we don't want any on Cinderella's face. Sure that you tie all those off if any of them got on her face. So now I'm going to give this a pat down and make sure there ain't nothing standing up and sticking up. And now I'm going to give that a cure. And now I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. Now I'm going to go over the pinky with the mat. This is a Elite 99 No Clean Matte Top Coat. Now let's see what this matte top coat looks like over top of this. Because that's what I want to put on the pinky is matte. So cute. Alrighty. Now I'm going to take the Born Pretty No Wipe top coat and go over the one with the Cinderella on it again. Just in case there's Oh, darn it. Just in case there's some of the glitter sticking up. This is so cute. Okay, guys, I went ahead and put the these glitters on the thumb, the ring or the middle finger and the pointer finger. The thumb I covered it completely in the glitters. And these glitters are from Full Beauty Burnishing Glitters. And on the middle finger, I put it halfway from the top. And on the pointer finger, I put it from halfway from the to the top, but like at a slant diagonal. And it looks really, really cute. But anyways, here's what it looks like when it comes out of the lamp. In just a second. Look at that. Look at that. See how the blue turns into a gorgeous, gorgeous, like light blue. So it's almost like an ice nail. But that is the nails, guys. I so greatly appreciate you guys tuning in and watching my channel. And like I said, if you're new here, please like and subscribe. If you've been with me, great. I love you guys. That's it, guys. And I want to say thank you to everybody that's here and watching. See you later. Bye-bye.